we are live now a very good evening to all of you welcome to the 21st session of the center webinar series for teachers uh, it's great to have all of you here uh, today is a really really spe special session because we are going to delve into the world of augmented reality but before we uh, uh, do that to start of the proceedings i'd like to introduce uh, my co-host for the day mr webber mathur uh, hi webber uh, hi uh, webber is a seasoned it professional who has deep interest in the education space and uh, he's been associated with it for years now he's also a regular participant of the center teaching professionals uh, olympiad the TPO as we know it. And in fact, uh, he is the regional topper of the Telangana region in the 2019 edition of the Zenda TPO. Congratulations on that. Uh, even though we've congratulated you many times before, another one here. So, uh, so yeah, so uh, over to you, Vepo. Sure, great. Uh, thanks for this, uh, for the nice introduction, Karthik. And a uh, very good evening uh, to all the uh, teachers uh, slash want to be teachers. Uh, online. This is uh, Vaibhav Mathur. I'm from Hyderabad and uh, uh, I'm, I'm by profession, I'm an IT professional. Uh, however, as a, uh, you know, as a passion, I, I support education in whatever ways I can in my free time. Uh, my company encourages me to, uh, uh, through an initiative called Purpose for Life. And uh, along with our work, uh, we also engage in uh, volunteering activities for purposes which are close to us. And now why teaching is close to me? Because uh, I'm from a family of teachers. My mother's family of nine had all nine teachers. And uh, that passion has carried over to me. And uh, you know, uh, what better way to contribute to teachers than, um, than by uh, you know, taking their own ideas forward. So um, now why are we here today? Uh, we are here today to uh, uh, talk about augmented reality, a uh, technology which is uh, increasingly getting, uh, you know, catching pace in education, okay. rather cool. teaching okay. sector to be specific. And uh, uh, we have we recently had the National Education Policy 2020 announced just yesterday, approved and announced just yesterday, as a part of which uh, creative uh, creative education is one of the key pillars uh, moving forward into 21st century. And uh, as we are all into with different phases of lockdown or uh, opening up, we are all as educationists, you as educationists are facing challenges in terms of uh, how to conduct online classes in a in, in very engaging manner as possible. And, and when I say engagement, student engagement, I think that is one of the most important areas of teaching which has been impacted by uh, lockdowns. Um, online teaching is happening all the teachers are putting in very great efforts. However, whether the students are engaged enough is a question that all teachers probably ask themselves. How do we help that? Augmented, augmented reality could be an answer, if not 100% to a large extent. And uh, who, better, who better to tell us about that than uh, uh, a young teacher from uh, Malapuram, Kerala, who recently surprised many, many across the nation with his creative uh, uh, augmented reality classroom videos along with his colleague teachers. Uh, so before I call, and and, uh, and the gentleman is Sham Bengalur, and before I call Sham Bengalur, let me uh, start uh, with one of his uh, messages to you. Just give me a minute, I'll share my screen. Okay, here Sham with surprise, surprise, you have Mr. Einstein with him. Good morning, all. If you can't explain it simply, you don't understand it well either. It's a famous quote by Albert Einstein. This is one of the famous quote of Einstein and live by it. Yes, it is a physiological proof. Uh, you might have uh, experienced it in, in your life. Learning process which of about creativity and traction. Were the teachers goal to get the students interested in a subject. That's where augmented reality could come 
Great. So that was um, your, the welcome message from Sham. And now uh, let me uh, have Sham on the camera uh, talking to all of us. Sham, would you come online? Yeah, sir. Great. Uh, yeah. great, great to see you, Sham. Uh, thank you yeah. so much for uh, uh, joining us on uh, Center Platform. Uh, welcome, I would like to, uh, you know, on behalf of many of the teachers who must be watching this watching this program, I would like to congratulate you for the creative videos that you, you have put. <laughs> Maybe many of the audiences on on the on the channel right now. Uh, okay. might have seen your videos already okay. uh, but many may, many may have not so uh, so all the teachers who've joined the way we are structured today's session is uh, we will be discussing uh, important points with sham uh, about augmented reality the what part of augmented reality the who okay, part thanks. of augmented reality and the how part of augmented reality and while doing those discussions um, we will also be playing some of shams uh, augmented reality videos oh. To explain the point further, yeah. Okay. Fine, so, so Sham, yeah, Sham. So uh, let's start with a very basic question. Uh, oh, although sir. I am myself an IT, I am myself an IT professional, but many times I myself get mixed up between what's the difference between augmented reality and virtual reality, Sham. Um, actually, the AR, uh, AR, augmented reality is the inclusion of uh, graphics uh, or rather than uh, 3D simulations. Of images um, into our reality or our uh, daily life uh, footages, whereas uh, virtual reality is a creating an entirely different reality for you. Uh, a student uh, can relate it to augmented reality more because it is a uh, on an on its own environment. Uh, example: uh, a solar system above student uh, and the teacher in a class. But in virtual reality, the student will be surrounded by a solar system and he will not. Uh, see the teacher or a class. Hence, uh, while he or she will be excited, uh, app, the personal touch of uh, teacher will be missing. Okay, great. So what, what you mean to say is that uh, in augmented reality, uh, the technology is having both the student and the teacher uh, available, uh, you know, yeah. facing each other. And in addition to that, in addition yeah. to that, there are certain images which are coming in. Whereas in virtual reality, uh, the teacher is out of the question. Yeah. At the most, there might be the teacher's voice, but yeah, probably yeah. not the teacher's own video. And even yeah, the sir. classroom environment, even the classroom environment may or may not be there in a, in a virtual reality, but it will. It is more likely to be there in a augmented reality oh, scenario. Reality. Yeah, sir, exactly. Okay, great, great. Thanks, uh, Sham, for that explanation. So um, before we see one of your videos, uh, what are the key um, usages of uh, augmented reality that you have seen so far in your experiments uh, with the teach with your colleagues with your teacher colleagues and by the way um, uh, you know sham is a social science teacher yeah uh, you know uh, working in the working in the school uh, in kerala and uh, he has got a team of uh, you know language teachers science teachers math teachers all around him so let's yeah. ask him uh, you know what are the usages you have seen sham um, that I exactly that I what I did uh, bring live objects into classes uh, which are online uh, these days uh, like a teacher describing a jungle when you have a 3D tiger standing next to the teacher and moving here and there no uh, this makes learning um, a more interesting experience for kids. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. So why why don't we see an example? Uh, let me play. Uh, teachers, uh, you know, attending this session, I'm again going to share my screen. I'm going to play a video, which okay. just exp which explains what Sham just uh, mentioned. Okay. It is a social science video where a teacher yeah. is trying to explain a concept about solar system. So, okay. in 30 seconds, it will be in front of in front of you. Uh, Let me play it. Are you a member of a family? Who like Earth is also a member of a family. Solar system is the family in which our Earth is a member. Sun is the center of solar system. You know, Sun is a star. Children, do you know what the stars? Stars are giant celestial bodies that burn by themselves. 
does emit heat and light in large quantities. Okay, so that was the uh, uh, the explanation through an example of uh, of uh, social science, where the teacher was trying to explain that Earth is a part of a family of planets in a solar system, and Sun is a star, and what are stars? So you see, you saw that uh, the teacher was trying to uh, explain the concept using augmented reality. Now, uh, typically, a teacher would would either show a picture to the child to the children or draw a diagram in the class or read from a book. Uh, but you can yourself guess when augmented reality videos like this created by Sham and team are in front of teach, uh, students, uh, what's, the, what, what's the level of learning they can get? So that brings me uh, to the next question, uh, Sham. Um, okay. You've already helped uh, some of the, uh, many of these teachers. You know, We just now saw the example of social teacher who made very creative videos with your help, with your training. Um, so. Uh, how many teachers have you so far uh, trained as a pilot? I know you've just started. Uh, and uh, what has been their response so far? Okay, sir. Uh, the teachers are were initially uh, a little bit uh, hesitant and uh, and on how it would work out. Uh, but um, on showing uh, AR videos now uh, has been created and how easy easy how easy it is. Uh, they came around and the cooperation was huge. Uh, we already uh, trained uh, six teachers and many more from different locations and are asking to be trained. Okay, that's very good, very good. So uh, essentially what you're saying is uh, when you probably took this idea of augmented reality for the first time to your colleagues, they might be a little, uh, you know, <laughs> skeptical that, oh, you know, I've never, I've never touched a computer more than writing an yeah. email. Now you are wanting me to create an augmented reality video. Uh, would I be able to do it? But then yeah. there you go. If a social science teacher can do it, uh, why not? Any, any teacher can do it. And, I, and as we go forward, we will see what other teachers of uh, teachers of other subjects from your school with your help could do. So yeah. now, um, so technical part is one. Uh, there's a small te technical element out there. Uh, but yeah. other than the technical part, what are the personal personal skills? What what are the other skills, soft skills that teachers need to make an interesting AR video for students? Uh, beside the basic knowledge of a uh, how to use a smart smartphone, uh, laptop, tablet, um, desktop, and of course a course of subject knowledge, uh, the the main personal uh, soft skill required i have i believe is some some bit of acting to explain the images in a in augmented reality in an interesting way uh, your body language and expression should be more interesting than a typical theoretical class ah lovely so teachers uh, you know be prepared to brush up your dramatic skills your acting skills because some of that would be required as opposed to when we are when you might be normally talking to students, it might be a more straight face. But when you have to talk to, uh, you know, talk to them in an augmented reality video, and you have yeah. to point to an object in the video, uh, your body language, your expressions, your yeah. tone, also come together to play a very good uh, role. So let's see yet another example of how a science teacher uh, did it. So I'll show you one more video. If you can just hold on for a minute. Okay, there you go. We have five sense organs. We have eyes, ears, nose, tongue, and skin. So these sense organs help us to know the world around us. Now let's turn all of them into eyes. Eyes help us to see many things. We can see the wonderful world, natural beauty. We are able to read magazine, newspaper, etc. We are able to see our friends also. The next sense organ is our ears. Ears help us to hear. 
we can hear somebody talking we can hear different types of sound like bird chirping music etc he has the inner part of the ears the next sense organ is our tongue the tongue help us to taste the tongue help us to taste different kind of delicious food the sense organ is our nose nose help us to smell because of nose we can smell the different smelling properties So, uh, so that was the science teacher talking about, uh, you know, the sense organs, and then she switched on to to brain, and then to respiratory system, and things like that. And you could see that um, she had to use a lot of imagination. She had to, while creating the video. Of course, the object was not by her side really. She had to imagine that there was an object of X size by by her side, and she had to make gestures, right? Uh, along with that, she had to make some expressions, and you know. Uh, voice ton uh, voice uh, voice intonations as well so that was the science teacher uh, in front of you uh, with a brief uh, video on uh, for class 5 or 6 students again sham uh, you know great work out there from you and your and your team uh, which brings me to the next question so these uh, these videos are great uh, and we understand from you that um, the teachers also uh, you know adopted uh, you know the process of creating these videos quite well uh, and they found they are finding it easy how about the students um, what has been the uh, students response so far after seeing these videos of course you are not with the students because students are at their home all of them they are watching their teachers videos so you won't be able to see them you know get their response uh, right there but have people called you have people tried to tell you in other ways uh, how are they finding these classes uh, actually we got an immensely positive response Uh, from the students, and uh, we were told by some of them that our video were more interesting than than uh, most of the videos on public platforms. Uh, parents from places like Chennai contacted me saying that uh, the videos were really good and they were watching more, wa watching for more. <laughs> uh, most importantly, okay. students are not uh, just getting excited; uh, they were also waiting for, uh, also get, uh, waiting to learn more. okay that's uh, that's very good that's very good so so i think you made a very important point that uh, students were not only excited by seeing these videos they were also wanting to learn i yeah. think that's the ultimate uh, ultimate purpose uh, that uh, teachers strive for uh, yeah. if if they are able to uh, kindle the desire for learning within the students i would think half their job is done mm -hmm. right so yeah. uh, so these uh, augmented reality videos really help in that uh, in that direction so uh, so great uh, and i would actually go one step forward uh, so one is of course the teachers creating these videos uh, but one is, after they become you know experts in their own right they can actually teach these kind of video creation to their senior students as well you yeah. know uh, yeah. students in grade 10 students in grade 12 and by the way uh, even while the videos that we we saw so far were for class 5 6 etc Yeah. but globally if we look at if we look at the trend of uh, augmented reality adoption in teaching it is being adopted even in higher education even in universities abroad 
uh, it is catching up in universities in india uh, from what i've been hearing and reading uh, but definitely it's a mega trend which is starting so if teachers are able to later uh, you know teach augmented reality to their students and ask them to make projects using augmented reality just imagine the kind of excitement it will bring to the whole class to the whole yeah. learning the whole learning process right so yeah. so the students will be part of the creation uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and uh, yeah. right so i'm maybe you are you might be planning already that when your students are yeah. with you later yeah. Uh, yeah. you know yeah. some of these some of, some of these things to senior students you will teach yourself yeah, yeah. okay great so so can you just give us some sense of because you know uh, uh, many teachers uh, uh, as i was saying beyond the creating uh, basic videos of themselves yeah. uh, you know might not have really put their hands into creating augmented reality so how easy or, or difficult it is for them uh, can yeah. you just give us throw some more light sham oh sure uh, there is not much uh, difficulty in it uh, you need some basic editing skills and uh, uh, all of all on your smartphone or laptop which anybody can gather in maximum 2 hours of our training <laughs> uh, the teacher okay. should know uh, the lessons well and uh, should have an idea as to how uh, what and when they have to input ar images in it and uh, rest we will train okay so is there any um, um, is there any programming skills required before that some basic bit of base of coding some no. c++ java or anything uh you don't need a programming knowledge and all of all for this it's really basic even uh, people with plus 2 level education can easily learn right from us uh, all, all you need uh, are ideas and creativity to make uh, lesson, lessons interesting uh, you saw in my video uh, how, how a hindi teacher created cows ar uh, ar video for her class she doesn't she doesn't not, not have any programming knowledge but she did it and so it, so it's easy oh very good so uh, yes a hindi teacher of yours uh, you know yeah. one of your colleagues made yeah. some pretty pretty beautiful videos let us show them to the audience right now so that they get a sense of what we are talking about so audience uh, i am going to be playing a, a hindi uh, teacher video to you and which will actually give you a sense that you know uh, uh, a language teacher can also pick up uh, you know ar video creation very well okay it will play in a second yes Hi, Pani, but Sina, Sabi, Jim, 
विभजन हो उसी से नाचने लगी गाने लगी हमारी खुशी में भरा हुआ है हमें भी एक खुशी के गीत गाए Okay, so uh, this was the Hindi teacher uh, talking about how different, uh, you know, living organisms, be it a cow, a vegetarian like a cow, or a carnivore like a tiger or a snake, they are all look, looking forward to the rain. So, but how beautifully did she, uh, you know, enact? Yeah. Did she enact her emotions? How how beautifully she got the sense of space that okay, there is a cow going around me and even moving. There's a tiger, there's a bug or a tiger going around me and roaring. Uh, there is a snake slithering around my legs. And, uh, you know, the teacher was not at all scared, scared. You know, in real life, if, if it happens, I think they will all be pretty scared. So, but that's, that's the advantage of AR. You can do whatever you want and not be scared, really, end of the day, right? So, uh, so that's great. Uh, that's great, uh, you know, uh, uh, Sham. Uh, you know, okay, so is there any... Um, Okay, so to make these videos, Sham, uh, AR videos, while we understood that you don't, uh, teachers don't need any programming language at all. Uh, they just need to have creativity and of course the subject knowledge. But what about the cost part of it? Uh, is creation of AR videos costly? Are the softwares which are involved in making it, uh, is the hardware that is required for making these videos, uh, are they expensive? Can you just throw some light on that so that you know we get a sense of while while we know the benefit, but what is the cost? Uh, sir, not at all. Uh, the all the softwares for uh, making a good basic augmented reality video like a uh, once I developed are free. Uh, it's it, it becomes expensive and augmented reality has to be embedded in live classes only. Hence, uh, so far we have prepared recorded classes only. Uh, but we can do for live to it, it uh, if there is a real any really any okay so what you're saying is uh, for creating basic uh, ar videos uh, and those videos will be recorded and given to the students to play for mm -hmm. for creating such videos mm -hmm. uh, there is no uh, you know the software which is there is freely available mm -hmm. yeah. right there is no yeah. there is no cost there is no cost to the software also mm -hmm. uh, because uh, you are not going to be uh, if the teacher is not going to be showing uh, ar live uh, you know uh, it's not a, it's not during a live session that a uh, you know uh, uh, that a ar will be implanted hmm. so that way uh, the hardware required for recording uh, or creating and recording such live videos is also uh, just a simple either a mobile phone or a tab or a laptop yeah. or desktop Either of these would find, would you find? So, uh, I'm sure all the teachers who are watching this program have uh, definitely have a mobile phone, and most of you might have might have a tab mm -hmm. or a laptop or a desktop uh, at school or in your houses. So that's yeah. all that you require. Uh, you know, the the free software for creating basic AR, and the, by basic AR we mean the the videos that Sham showed just now. That you know, all the Hindi and the social and the science. They are the, they are the, so you can get there. To get there, you don't need to spend. That's the whole message that Sham is trying to, um, you know, say, right, Sham? So, Thank you. Uh, so let me before I come to the next question, Sham, uh, let me just for the benefit of teachers uh, uh, show some of the facts, um, uh, you know, uh, regarding AR and how it applies to teaching, uh, you know, as yes. for my uh, as for my analysis. So I will again share a, a few slides uh, with the audience out here, and Thank I'm you. sure it'll be of help to them. Okay, fine. Uh, just give me a minute. Okay. It will come up at a time. 
Okay, we'll just go ahead with our question, and by the, in, the, in the meanwhile, I'll come up with the with the slide, and the slide will be anyway shared with the audience. So, um, so Sham, um, when it comes to um, anybody wanting to learn uh, creating creating videos, uh, creating AR videos, that the teachers who are watching this program, the tutors, the educators who are watching this program, yeah. if they want to learn it, uh, uh, let's say from you, yeah. uh, can it be done completely, completely online? Where let's say you are in Kerala, but uh, there is another teacher from Jammu and Kashmir who is, uh, uh, you know, joining joining your session online through Center. And uh, so, can it be done completely online? What's your uh, thought? Yes, we can uh, train completely uh, remotely. Uh, joining with a, a good uh, internet bandwidth, uh, preferably on desktop, laptop, uh, tab, or for H uh, four operation. If not, uh, then uh, then the mobile is all all that will be required. That's Okay. Okay. So what you're saying is uh, that uh, it can definitely be learned completely online uh, because typically uh, we all get this impression that if if some if anything to do with computers need to be learned, uh, you know, it has to be done in a computer institute, a computer training institute. Yeah. Yes, there are online sessions which also yeah, which are yeah. coming in off late, but uh, you know, you, the teacher does not need to be sitting by your side. Okay. Right, teacher can, teacher can uh, you know, the instructor like yourself can very much, very well be online. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. okay. So now let me uh, let me show the uh, the presentation which I wanted to sh share. Okay. So teachers, uh, I wanted to share share some facts uh, facts with you on uh, how the Indian media is uh, is uh, you know catching up to Shams online uh, you know, online augmented reality videos. Anybody from the Hindu to uh, Education World to Hindustan Times to NDTV and uh, the Better India, uh, they have all covered these augmented reality sessions, which uh, you know uh, we showed you with Shams' permission in today's session. Oh, thank um, you, yeah, so uh, yes, great Sham. Yes, yes, and just by the way, for everybody's interest, um, Sh you know, Sham is shortly likely to be, uh, uh, you know, <laughs> interviewed by by media houses outside the country as well. Uh, we will not name those houses till those videos are out. But yes, so that's the that's the power of uh, creativity. That's the power of innovation in teaching, uh, ladies and gentlemen, which I want to uh, highlight with you. And Sham, thank you so much for doing that. Um, you, now, as to what are the uh, AR benefits in a in a classroom? So, what we have listed out here are uh, five uh, possible benefits. They are the five top benefits in our opinion, but definitely uh, the the benefits will actually go much beyond these. And uh, these benefits are linked to the new national education policy and its focus areas. Uh, very easily, you can see. So, for example, one one benefit is, uh, you know, learning becoming learning becomes engaging and fun. So yeah. that maps directly to the interactive uh, interactive classes uh, theme of national education policy. It is applicable acro across age groups. So you and I also like to watch entertaining videos, don't we? So uh, it is not just kindergarten or 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 middle school or secondary school. It is definitely students much higher in the classes who who benefit from it. Um, it is easy to acquire, process, and remember abstract and difficult concepts using augmented reality. For example, uh, we saw the, uh, the the video talking about solar system, planets, and the sun. Yeah. Right now, yeah. in a small in a small picture in a book, how much how much can a child a student uh, relate to it? But if you know if the uh, the whole thing is popping out of the screen and the earth is rotating or the earth is revolving around the sun uh, you know the whole the whole understanding becomes much better fourth point contextualization is also possible contextualization of education for example uh, if a teacher is talking about wildlife and let's say the teacher is in kerala and we all know kerala is full of elephants and by the way there is a, there is a you know, there is a, a video that Sham had created where an elephant was also there for lack of time. I'm, you know, we are not able to show it. But while talking about wild and wild animals and, uh, you know, how they need to be, uh, you know, conserved and all that, you know, if 
an elephant's video is shown a, Ker a child from kerala is much more likely to relate to it than a child uh, and if a if a camel video is shown or if a you know tiger video is shown a child from rajasthan is it will, it will probably relate relate more to it so that's the contextualization we are talking about and why why just that uh, other day i was reading an article by a uh, by a uh, experiential teacher who uh, brought about in a typical classroom in a village he brought about the con the concept of agriculture practices in a middle school classroom now he of course took the children to the farms but we can bring the farm to the children using augmented reality yeah. that's the power of ar yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, sure. And sure. that's that that links very well to the experiential learning uh, part of uh, national education policy, the new one. And finally, it promotes uh, 21st century skills like creativity, analysis, critical thinking, and problem solving among students. You know, and I'm talking right now about not only junior but senior students. If they themselves start to create AR videos, uh, their thinking will go to a different level altogether. So that maps very well to the critical thinking part of. Uh, national education policies objectives yeah yeah and um, um, also as far as uh, uh, you know as far as the mapping of augmented mm -hmm. reality as a technology for teaching is concerned to mm -hmm. center standards uh, it very well fits in and complies addresses many of these center, center standard points for example while center standards are based on five design principles, I am highlighting two here. Mm -hmm. the, the first design principle on the left says, um, you know, the standards set teaching expectations to make learning contextual to a child's environment. So making learning contextual to a, to a child environment, we already saw an example. Now, it is a center uh, design principle. It is uh, also one of the center standards and, uh, you know, augmented reality fits in lovely out there. Second principle, design principle of center standards is the standards are forward looking in their expectation of teaching um, which is pertinent for the society and the economic setting of the future so forward looking futuristic um, augmented reality definitely allies with this principle it aligns with this principle and you can see it aligns with many of the uh, center standards which are you know which are enclosed in red boxes to the right so teachers, what it means is, uh, you know, when you do learn augmented reality, uh, please bear in mind that you are aligning to global teaching standards uh, created by CENTA, uh, you, which are a gold standard in the country. Yeah. So these are the, there are some video links that you will be provided at the end of the uh, meeting. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll come to that. So uh, Sham, let me come back to uh you know to the part where i was talking about uh, you know the teaching the learning part of augmented reality right um one minute. yeah can you see my screen sham yes sir you can uh, see me right okay great you can see me sham correct yeah yes sir okay just wanted to be sure great so uh, that brings us towards uh, the last uh, couple of questions, uh, Isham. So mm -hmm. in, we know we now know that technical the technical skills are not majorly required. We also know that the cost is less. Mm -hmm. Now, in terms of time, time is also mm -hmm. an investment, right? Many of mm -hmm. many teachers are yeah. many of the teachers are very busy. So in terms of time, how many hours of learning from you, for example, of learning augmented reality from you, um, do you think that teachers will be able to create uh, some of the same kind of basic videos that you had created, uh, which really went viral in the social media. So how many hours of uh, these kind of uh, videos teachers can create independently? How many hours of training do they need to go through with you? Uh, two, two hour of training will give uh, teachers a good uh, enough start to create uh, videos independently. OK, so two hours of training and probably you know, you know, if you might want to give another one or two hours of practice and, you know, yeah. you can guide them through the practice. So yeah. two to four hours is uh, what you are saying. Two to four. Would be, uh, would be more than enough. Yeah. Maximum four hours would be more than enough for teachers to okay. uh, learn, the, learn the basics, for the teachers yeah. to create a small augmented reality video yeah. right there during those four hours and be satisfied that, yes, you know, 
they mm-hmm. have uh, they have been able to do it themselves great uh, mm-hmm. great shyam that's a good insight so uh, so now uh, let me uh, bring to the you know highlight one more important media uh, you know which has been talking about augmented reality uh, and that's a different type of media let me show my uh, show my screen and you will know what i'm trying to highlight okay so now uh, moms preso moms preso that's the name of a website uh, which is a parents website and to be particular it's a moms website mm-hmm. and i'm a little jealous but never mind uh, <laughs> it's a, it's a it's a moms website and uh, that website is talking about uh, you know kerala school uses augmented reality to teach kids <laughs> during virtual class just look at uh, just above this uh, title just look at the kind of uh, news <laughs> ad- or article that it otherwise otherwise uh, you, you know talks about pregnancy babies kids beauty and fashion right mom's life but then here here they are talking about shams uh, augmented reality videos so so if parents the message i'm trying to give is that if parents you know catch up to something if parents like something you know uh, and that's a good news for for tutors as well uh, that if uh, tutors uh, bake in uh, augmented reality into their uh, you know online offline uh, sessions with children uh, i'm sure uh, parents would love it yeah you would be able to create differentiators for your kind of teaching uh, vis-a-vis uh, something which is purely and purely uh, you know uh, physical person to person some bit of digital is definitely going to go a long way in making your presentations um, you know really uh, uh, eye catching and really thoughtful oh, thank you. if i may say so thank yeah, you sir. so sham um, it was great. yeah so great sham uh, you know your work is good and uh, i i you know we hope uh, teachers would really uh, gain from the trainings that you might plan for them in future and uh, 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 with that uh, uh, you know i would hand it over to karthik uh, karthik do you have any messages uh, from the audience uh, to share with us any questions uh, thanks a lot sham sir thanks a lot thank you. Uh, thank you thank you uh no i was yeah scrolling through the comments and uh, i i could just see the excitement uh, you know uh, from everyone and everyone's is super super excited to be introduced to this concept and everyone's just keen to understand how uh, you know they can start leveraging this in their own classrooms and you know how 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 they can start incorporating this in their lessons so uh, i mean thanks a lot thanks a lot for agreeing thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, Uh, and and yeah i read a couple of questions where people were asking uh, you know uh, uh, okay yeah we know uh, you you shown us that this can be done but how do we do it and is there a workshop that you know uh, sham sir could uh, you know uh, conduct for uh, for us to you know uh, help us implement this in our classes for our respective subjects and as you said uh, you know this sham sir has done this for uh, social studies math hindi regardless of the subject that you teach ar can be implemented for that specific subject to make your classes more interesting so uh, so the way that we're going to collect the interest for this is uh, like we've done in the last 2 uh, 3 weeks the feedback form for the session is available on the home screen of my center so uh, like you've done in the last 2 uh, 3 weeks uh, you know to get your certificate of acknowledgement uh, you know please go back to uh, the my center uh, app Uh, you know on the home screen itself you'll see a banner which will say feedback form and when you click there you'll be able to fill in the feedback for the session and we the, this feedback form will also have a question on whether you would be interested to attend a workshop that will be you know uh, headed by uh, Shyam sir and uh, in case you are interested and i can from the comments i can see that i think everyone's uh, who has attended the session is up for it uh, you know please uh, fill in uh, you know uh, provide your response either a yes or no and then you know uh, uh, submit the form uh, those of who you uh, you know who you say who say yes we'll be reaching out to you separately with the details of the session in terms of you know uh, the logistics on the date time uh, the fee and so forth so that's how we'll be doing it yeah so so uh, i'd request you to go to uh, the my center app the form is going to be there till uh, you know 8 o'clock today so you have ample time uh, you know please fill in the form at your own convenience 
after the session uh, let us know in case you would want to attend the workshop and we'll organize the workshop for you and uh, we'll we'll convey the logistics separately so that's that's how uh, we we'll, we we'll, we'll do it yeah and then yeah i can uh, yeah deepam single is your form sir it's it's there on the home screen of uh, my center it's at the same place that you used to register for the session you can find the form there uh yeah uh, and uh, i mean we have around 15 minutes left so i'd request uh, you know uh, if we have any questions for sham sir for webo please uh, you know uh, 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 type it down in the comment section and we'll we'll try answering that we have around 10 to 15 minutes left so please please uh, let us know your questions yeah sure i uh, i put some questions from the comment section uh, okay uh, sure uh, karthik and i'll sure. probably yeah, I'll mm -hmm. probably uh, shoot them to Sham and, uh, you know, uh, try to address from my side as well. So, Sham, sure. uh, one of the questions was that uh, uh, in, you showed you showed one sample of a social science video oh. where it was the planets, planets and the solar system that you were talking about. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Are, are you are you thinking one of the teachers is asking what yeah. could be the other social science topics, let's yeah. say of class five, six, which yeah. could be, uh, uh, you know, which could be, you know, uh, made more interesting using AR. I have some thoughts, but yeah. definitely you are a practitioner. You are, uh, you know, the champion of this technology. <laughs> so, can you share your, those ideas, Sham? Uh, actually, sir, we can do um, in anything in in that in social or any other subject we can do. Uh, when we studying about the uh, what we can say monuments or something related to India, no, we can uh, we can um, give a virtual to by by. By, by making a virtual tour, we can um, we can uh, put the uh, Taj Mahal in, in the class and uh, something uh, related to ancient India or something. We can we can put some, uh, that augmented reality also in that in, in, in our class. Absolutely, absolutely. And that uh, I would like to highlight teachers uh, one other aspect about Sham. Uh, he is not just a teacher or a tech enthusiast. He is also <laughs> a cross cross country biker. Last year. <laughs> Uh, last year he went on a on a Kashmir to Kanyakumari or other Kanyakumari to Kashmir and back bike ride on a on a very noble noble cause of uh, yeah. stopping child abuse yeah. and uh, he has taken videos and pictures of many places many monuments yeah, yeah. Across, across the country and he plans to use them in his yeah. social science classes. Yeah, yeah sure, sir. It's work are going to complete. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes, yes. The work is going to complete soon. Another example, teachers that I have seen uh, uh, in while while I was scanning through, uh, you know, uh, what other teachers are doing in the space outside the country, at least, mm -hmm. uh, they are, for example, there are there are chapters in class eight, ninth, with, in social yeah. science uh, related to uh, rivers, rivers and mountains, uh -huh. right? And even uh -huh. rivers and mount mountains, their videos have been brought uh, live into the class or kind uh -huh. of live into the class using augmented reality, yeah. you know. Uh, for example, for example. Uh, a student has to be explained how why the uh, the particular plane in north of India in Uttar Pradesh is fertile. Why mm. that is fertile, and mm. it is fertile. We know it's given in the books that it, yeah. it is fertile because of the minerals that the uh, that the uh, rivers carry up from the hills down to the plains. Mm. How those minerals uh, minerals come to the plains and how they get deposited onto the soil and make it fertile. Yeah. Now it is it is one thing to read about it, yeah. but it would be another. It is another to actually show an augmented reality video, put an augmented reality video of that river flow from, uh, say, Himalayas to mm -hmm. part of Uttar Pradesh and show that, hey, the, you know, this is where it has become green. Otherwise, children do not do not know where it has become green. Where yeah, is Uttar yeah. Pradesh? Many of many of peop many people in down south for their entire life may not have gone to Uttar Pradesh. Right. Mm -hmm. But yeah, <laughs> augmented reality can can uh, definitely fill that. Another example. Sometime back, I was uh, I saw in the newspaper that the UK Prime Minister was sitting in the children's class in a children's mm -hmm. civics class. Yeah, yeah? and yeah. Uh, now yeah. now the same thing. I mean, Mr. Narendra Modi perhaps will not come to each and every mm -hmm. class, but you can definitely take his mm -hmm. AR video, sure, 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 put, it, put, it, put it in a class and uh, a, a, a class about say the constitution of our country, and just see just see the the impact. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm using some creative license to use Mr. Narendra Modi's name, but then he's such a leader that it'll be it'll be good to have him in the you know. So that's the example of uh, social science. Uh, 
So I also had uh, a couple of I was just uh, yeah, so a couple of questions. One was uh, from uh, Sajna Hamid, ma'am, where she was asking, uh, "What is the extent to which uh, AR can be used in, say, senior uh, uh, grade math classes, say, a uh, senior secondary class or a secondary grade math class? What's the extent to which it can be used? Would it be equally effective, say, if it's you know as effective, say, it's uh, the the technologies in lower grades? Would it still be effective in higher grades? So I think that's the gist of the question." Uh, yeah. So, Sham, would you like to uh, address that point? How uh, how can AR be used in mathematics of higher secondary classes, 11th and 12th? Yeah. Any thoughts you have? Yeah, uh, actually, uh, it's not expensive uh, uh, that much. Uh, no, because uh, when we uh, comparing cube, uh, when we uh, when we studying about a particular thing in Max, uh, for example, cube, we can we can uh, that uh, the complete view we were in, we can. Uh, we can um, make in that uh, class and we can um, explain it by the help of augmented reality it's 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 only that this uh, it's only that uh, how we how we, uh, we introduce the elephant that that on on that way only that we can bring uh, any anything in, in the max we can include sure. in the class so what uh, yeah. the is saying is there absolutely no limits to it i mean it all yeah. depends on you. yeah uh, you know, whatever the topic what you want to teach, you can uh, you yeah. know, uh, bring augmented reality to that. I'll and, just yeah. cite one more example, Karthik. Yeah. yeah. I'll just cite one more example, Karthik, with your permission. Can I? Yeah. Yes, yes, please. Yeah. yeah. Uh, several days back, uh, I watched a video uh, where uh, the uh, the concept of sine, sinusoidal or, uh, you know, cosine waves, sine, sine waves or cosine mm, yeah. waves was being explained through a roller coaster. You know a roller coaster how it goes up and down and how how the concept of sine waves is used in the construction of a solar roller uh, roller coaster you know is uh, it, it was very interestingly put forth in that uh, in that video so essentially what Shyam was also trying to highlight is you know wherever there is a visual element to the study yeah. uh, like whether it's a geometry or it is trigonometry definitely ar can come in uh, come in picture but let us not forget that AR is not only about pictures or objects. Yeah, it is also about alphabets. So it, you can always write. For example, you may be on the right part of the screen and on the left yeah, side yeah. of the screen, you can write text. You can write yeah, formulas. Sure, sure. You know, uh, like that. Like, like, um, like, sir, we were seeing that Baiju's app, you know, very, very big. Like Baiju's app, we can do, do it. Right. So similar to what Baiju's are, are doing. Yeah. So right, while they may be using, uh, they may be using pretty, uh, you know, high-ended softwares also to make them more and more fine. But definitely, mm -hmm. basic uh, uh, AR videos like the ones that you made, even for yeah. mathematics and higher class, can be done. Yeah. yeah. So Karthik, yeah, that's the sure. that's the message. Sure, sure. And I uh, also uh, had a couple of questions from Ms. Soma Gupta. Uh, first was, of course, she was curious to know how this idea struck you that you know you this is something that you know you could use to make your classes more interesting. So the whole how part of it how did you uh, you know uh, uh, get hooked to this technology and, uh, and you know what was the story behind it so she's curious to know that and she also has a follow-up question and she says that she's an english teacher and uh, she's curious to know if you know uh, uh, or rather how this can be used to teach concepts of grammar in which uh, you know uh, because she feels that students aren't very that that much interested in grammar as compared to literature they they, they are mm -hmm. certainly more, more interested in literature but when it comes mm -hmm. to grammar they're not really that interested so uh, this is certainly something uh, which can make teaching grammar more interesting but she's wondering how how uh, you know she should go about using ar for teaching grammar okay uh, so maybe the first part uh, sham you can you can first answer the first question I actually uh, I saw this uh, augmented reality in, in my life uh, uh, from media and paid seminars in YouTube, and I just uh, think that um, uh, in in our daily busy life, you no, know, uh, we are uh, we adults were uh, curiously we are watching this augmented reality uh, very well. Uh, then then I uh, then I think uh, when we introduce this into that uh, in, in uh, education field no it become very amazing to all and uh, and i searched a couple of searches in google and uh, i got uh, but unfortunately i get uh, that uh, it's very expensive somewhat more expensive and we can't do with uh, without any studio and, and then also i searched somewhat uh, and i got uh, editing uh, editing how to edit uh, augmented reality and there are some lot of apps softwares and we can do it 
and at last we we get a, a wonderful result right so what you're saying is you got the idea from media uh, in fact yeah, just media, yesterday the, we were watching, yeah, yeah just yesterday we were watching abp news and yeah. where they were showing the the rafael uh, yeah, coming yeah. into the rafael flight coming into the studio itself that was yeah. augmented reality yeah, yeah. so yeah, yeah. that is what triggered but, your but mind but it's 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 uh, much more expensive than uh, very expensive true. then yeah that is very expensive true so that was the genesis of the idea and how in terms of how it can be applied in english grammar that's a very interesting question yeah, yeah. uh i am uh, you know i am uh, shyam would you have any thought because i am right now not uh, having too many thoughts but some ideas though uh, yeah? I, uh, we can try but um, uh, with the uh, sound and uh, i don't know i i just trying only but i didn't have no idea uh, abhi yeah <laughs> now i am right no right idea. so one yes yeah, so uh, maybe uh, you know if there are in in grammar for example to make it more interesting if student a uh, speaks uh, you know in a, in a wrong grammar and student student b using right uses right grammar maybe you could have two videos of two students in, uh, you know as objects implanted onto into one augmented reality video and uh, they are both talking they are both talking one with right english one with wrong english and uh, or grammar rather and uh, just see so that children hear it out and get the uh, try to understand the impact that is one uh, that is one possibility but definitely english grammar is an area which needs to be investigated yeah. uh, as to how ar can be applied in english grammar yeah sure karthik and uh, i had uh, paroma uh, sin gupta had a very interesting suggestion by the way she's saying you can use ar with the photos and videos that you have taken on your travels sure yeah 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 sure sir i have a, i have a plan <laughs> so yeah that, that that that's and uh, yeah thanks thanks a lot for uh, thanks a lot for that paroma a really interesting idea I'm sure shams is going to do that okay. uh, and yeah soma gupta just uh, ma'am just said i love the manner in which you've come up with the innovative ideas in your mm -hmm. class thank you thank you for your response sure thank you ma'am uh, i'm just uh, scrolling to check for any more comments or any more questions that we may have missed yeah we have pasted the link to the feedback form in here as well in in, in the chat as well so please uh, you know take a look at uh, you know you can click that link and submit your feedback and also express your interest to uh, you know uh, 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 for attending uh, the master class or the workshop that shyam sir so will be conducting so please do that and of course it's also available on the home screen of the my center app mm, yeah uh, there was one one last question perhaps uh, about uh, mr venkatesh saying where uh, can it can virtual labs in chemistry practicals be uh, you know uh, be used in augmented reality videos so i would think yes right shyam certainly uh, you, you know uh, the same videos which are there in uh, the, the, which are there in 100% uh, video class video practical uh, website the same videos can be picked up and yeah. uh, implanted to make augmented reality videos is that right sham yeah yeah sir and uh, chemistry we can practicals. Use, uh, chemistry practical means uh, actually we can uh, do uh, more than ar we can do that uh, green screen effect we can we can include in chemistry online classes and we can easily uh, understand the students is more easily okay so green screen effect i think details yes. of this would be there in your class in your classroom whenever you conduct the ar class you will talk more about green screen effect how that will be more useful in a chemistry practical yeah yeah okay that perhaps answers mr venkatesh partially so yeah karthik over to you great uh yes so i think we've covered most of the questions and uh, uh mr a p balaji rao says kudos to mr sham for initiating this kind of new vista of knowledge thanks a lot sir thanks a lot for the appreciation really uh, uh, uh sham sir appreciates that mm. sure i think uh i think we 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 are done uh thank you thank you uh uh great thank you thanks a lot uh, shyam sir thanks a lot thank once again you. for you know agreeing to do this session i'm sure uh, you know uh, all of us who were here Uh, found it really really useful and uh, uh, and all of us have, 
all of us here are quite keen to attend that workshop that you will be conducting. So yeah, we'll be sharing the details with uh, you know the viewers. Uh, we will be sharing the details of the workshop with the viewers in the coming days. We hope that you've expressed your interest in the feedback form that you've in that we've shared. So please do that. Uh, and thank you. Thanks a lot for you know being such a great host. And uh, uh, I mean, always a pleasure to interact with you. Thanks a lot. A very thank you so much uh, for. Yeah. Yeah, a very good evening to all. So, hope you have a great day ahead. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye bye. Bye.